for this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make the max 3100 part um, in Eagle which includes creating a schematic part and a the actual package for the device alright the first step is to create a library you go to file new library next we want to save our library we're gonna go ahead and call this one maxim2 since I already have a maxim library alright once our new library is saved you can see it on the title bar we're gonna create first our symbol so click here on symbol and type the name in the box max3100 press ok yes alright the first thing to do in the symbol is draw our schema you know our schematic basically of the actual device the best thing to do is open up the data sheet as you can see um, for this tutorial I will be using dip package which has 14 pins um, right from for now that's all we need to know I'll leave it on the side so first thing we gotta do is set up our pins so we click on the draw pin um, button on the side and there's 14 pins I like to start off in the middle and just work my way down seven on one side seven on the other All right. once we draw a basic outline on how we want it to look I usually draw a box around it with the basic line tool the next thing we have to do is give it a name this name right here basically whatever you set the name to in your schematic it w this will change to that name and just so I know what part it is I'll also throw the actual name of the part alright to write names and text we use the text tool all right. As you can see, these are pins and these are pin names. What I usually do is go quickly, copy the first one, move back into the eagle, and use the define name tool or rename pin whatever, and I just paste it in. I usually do this pretty fast using copy paste shortcuts from the keyboard. gonna pause this all right now we're almost done um to get these lines over the over the pin names what you have to do is throw one of these in the front and then the back of where you want it to be it's that simple all right once we have this set up we're actually done with it we'll go ahead and save it next we're using a dip package so we go to our package here and let's just name it dip 14 since it's 14 pins yes alright for the package is basically the actual board layout for this we also have to go into the data sheet um, but this data sheet seems to be split into two pieces if you go all the way to the bottom usually you'll see the layout and whatever of the chip but for some reason it's not here they have the document here that you need which I already downloaded which is right here basically this tells you the exact dimensions of the chip and everything you need to know to basically 
draw it out in Eagle. This is a standard dip package, 0.3 inch um, spacing, which is, I believe, the, um, the EA or one of these. Uh, yeah, EA. Alright, and spacing on the pitch is E, which is 0.1 inch. So that's really all we need to know. The pitch spacing is 0.1 inch, and the spacing between one side of the chip to the other is 0.3 inches. Alright, so we go ahead and select our pad tool, pick whichever pad we want. I like to go with these for these types of chips. And we just start drawing out the pads. Now you'll notice here on the left top corner, you'll see where every square basically is 0.05 square, you know, it's 0.05 inches. So for 0.1, we have to move it 1, 2, as you can see right here. So that's 0.1 inches, 0.2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which comes out to 7 pins on one side. Next, we have um, 0.3 inches spacing. Since I start on zero here, going over to the side, so we hit 0.3, you'll notice it up here. And we just continue up. It's that simple. All right, now we just make sure our pin names, which is pin one, pin 7, pin 8, through pin 14. So this is 1 through 7 and 8 through 14. 1 and 14 are across from each other, just like in the data sheet. Alright, next we'll go ahead and draw just a small layout so we know how everything looks. This is optional, but it helps you when you're laying out the actual chip on the board. Right? And now we have to go ahead and give it the same name tag. But as you can see, it doesn't line up well. So what I like to do is go up here to the right hand corner, I'm in left hand corner, I'm sorry. This is the grid button. It lets you specify the spacing or the snaps basically to align to. So I add, well, well I divide it by 2, which is 0.25, you know, 0 0.025, so I could align it better. Once we have our name there, we're actually done with this part. Press save and now we have to create our device which is the package and the schematic built into one where you tell the basically eagle what pin from the schematic goes to what pin on the package. This is a max 3100. Alright, now we add our max 3100 schematic device whatever and then we add our package we're gonna call it dip 14 alright now we're not completely done yet but I like to save it at this point we have to connect you can either press connect or double click on the package name and here we set up how everything gets connected. As we can see, pin 1 here, which is pin 1 on the pad, goes to DN. Double click, and now we have DN connecting to pin 1. Then 2 is D out, 3 is S clock, 4 is CS. 5 is IRQ, 6 
shut down ground x2 x1 cts rts rx tx then vcc ensure that all pins are lined up correctly with their pad name and press ok you'll notice a check mark now showing us that all pins are placed to names on the schematic part and you'll also notice pin numbers on the side which coincide with the actual pads press save now we can go ahead and close our ego library and start a new schematic alright I'll go ahead and save this as max 3100 test now since we just created our library we have to use it so in order to use it we hold our library then use find our library in the list which is maximum 2 press open now we click on add a part in eagle wait for it to load once it's loaded we locate our library in the list which is maximum 2 and our part should be there double click the part name so we can add it you'll notice um, in order to move this part I have the pin here um, there's a little crosshair over here you could change that location by e easily just by opening the library once again opening the actual symbol and you see it's located right here so we just move our symbol select everything right click move center it out save it close it library update oops sorry update all and there we have it now you can see where you can hold and drag the actual part now let's just create something basic here let's connect ground to shut down and I don't know D out to DN CS to X1 this isn't actual connections but you know we're not using this create our schematic a board and here we have our uh, actual board layout go ahead and make this smaller as you can see everything seems to be in working order and that's really about it if you have any questions feel free to post ask away